Hello everyone, welcome back to another aquatic adventure. I'm Erin with Wave Foundation at Newport Aquarium, and I'm really excited to be talking to you today with another STEM card that we created with the Greater Cincinnati STEM Collaborative. Today we are moon scientists, and we are going to be talking about how we can observe the moon and what we observe about the moon throughout a month. So the activity for us to do today, and actually throughout an entire month, is to make a moon journal. And what that's going to have you do is going outside at some point throughout the day and finding the moon and drawing what you see. Now I do say at some point throughout the day because there are lots of times that we can see the moon in the middle of the day. It's not as bright and it's often harder to find. It's easier at night. But if you want to observe during the day, there are many times that you can see the moon during the daylight as well. So. You just need a paper and a utensil, a writing utensil, to draw out your moon journal. I would say if you can observe at least every other night for about a month, that would be a great way to make your moon journal. If you want to observe every single night, that's awesome. Um, if you're a little busy or need to skip a night or two, that's completely fine. But you want to make sure that you're observing once or twice a week throughout a full month to see how the moon is going to change throughout that month. Now, if you've already made your moon journal, that's awesome. What we're going to do today in this video is actually talk about why we see different shapes of the moon. So I'm actually going to end up turning the lights off in here and showing you what it is that we're seeing when we see what we call the phases of the moon. And so I have two things that are going to help me show you this. One is a flashlight. This is my sun. And one is a volleyball. And this is my moon. And we're going to be observing from the perspective of Earth, um, but the actually easiest way to show this is by me having the moon and the sun remain in a stable position, and we're going to walk around to see the different phases of the moon as Earth. Now, keep in mind, in our solar system, all three of these items are moving. The sun, the moon, and the Earth. The moon is orbiting around Earth. The, we and the moon are orbiting around the sun, but I don't have enough hands to make all those orbits happen at the same time. So what we're going to do is set up our moon and our sun in one location, and we're going to get to see what the phases of the moon are that we see from Earth, uh, just so that we can get that simulation. So I'm going to set them up, I'm going to show you my setup, and then we are going to walk through the phases of the moon that you might see during your moon journal. So one moment as I get my sun and my moon set up here. So. I'm going to turn my camera around and show you what we are going to be looking at. So what we're going to be looking at is the sun and the moon. So my flashlight is the sun, the volleyball is going to be the moon, and I have them lined up as directly as I can to give sun onto one half of the moon. At any time, anything in our solar system is having half of its body lit up by the sun. So that's what we're going to see here. I'm going to turn the lights off so this is a little bit clearer and I'm just going to continue to talk behind the video. Okay, so we're back. We have the lights off and we are looking at the moon or our volleyball. So right now, by where we are in the orbit, we can see half of the moon. I am going to move locations so that we start at sort of a middle point. Okay, so we have turned the lights off and we are now starting to look at what the phases of the moon look like when we are actually outside and potentially looking at the moon. So right now I am lined up perfectly because the sun is actually, my flashlight is on the far side of my volleyball. And we are starting here because this is where our moon phases start. What we call this phase is a new moon. And this is actually an evening where we would not be able to see any moon if we were to go out and look for it in our backyard. And the reason for that is that the sun is only ever lighting half of any celestial body, any body that is out there in our solar system. So even right now, the sun is illuminating half of the earth. We may not be on the half that it's illuminating if it's nighttime for us. If it's daytime, we are somewhere in that half. But everything is always being lit on one full side. And we start our moon phases on the side when we have no sun 
illuminating the moon. So we are gonna start right here. This is what we call a new moon. Now, as we orbit, remember, I'm gonna move around the moon right now because it's easiest to get that Earth perspective, but what actually happens is that the moon orbits the sun. But as I move here, you do have to be a little careful because you can see right now there's a lot of sunlight. I can see the full flashlight, but we are not looking at the flashlight in this moment. So I'm gonna try to cover the flashlight with my hand because I want you to just look at what we see on the moon. What you see right now is a little, little teeny reflection off of the moon. And that is where we call it a crescent moon. And as I walk a little bit farther, you're gonna start to see a slightly larger crescent. And that's gonna increase as the days go and as we continue to rotate here. So I'm gonna stop here where I get to the point where I can see what we would call half because I see half of the full circle that is the moon, but we are actually only looking at a quarter of the moon. Remember, the moon is a full 3D object. So this is what we call the first quarter phase of our moon. We are looking at one quarter of the moon. Now, you know that we are headed from a new moon and getting larger in what we see of the moon if you are looking at an illuminated right side of the moon. You can see that is the right side of my volleyball. So that is our first quarter. And I'm going to continue around here. And as we go, we have the crescent, which was the stage in between new moon and first quarter. Right now, we are seeing sort of a, a you know, the circle getting bigger. And we actually call this a gibbous. G-I-B-B-U-S, I believe. And so as we move towards our next stop, you are seeing that circle get larger and larger. And now I am directly behind what my sun is, the flashlight, and we can see the entire illuminated side of the moon. This is what we call a full moon. You can see the full circle of half of the moon. So this is our full moon stage. Now I'm gonna continue around. And what do you think happens as I continue around this second half of our moon phases? From the beginning with the new moon to the full moon, the amount we saw got bigger. And as I move back around my circle here, we are gonna see those phases of the moon shrink. So I'm gonna move nice and slow. We're going through that gibbous phase again because we're seeing less and less of the moon. But this time, if you notice, the left side of the circle, the face of the moon is staying illuminated. So as I move to our third quarter stage, which is right here, you will now notice that rather than having the first quarter illuminate the right side of the moon, you can now see the left side. So that's how you can know the difference between our first quarter and our third quarter stages, is which side of the moon is illuminated. So at our third quarter stage, we see the left side of the moon from Earth's perspective. I'm going to continue on through our month. And as you notice, I'm going to again cover up the sun because I want you to really focus on how much of the volleyball, how much of the moon is being illuminated. We are back in that crescent phase where you're seeing just a sliver of the moon until we get finally back to our new moon stage. So this full rotation of actually the moon around, this, around Earth, I know I was moving in this one, it's only because of camera angles. When the moon fully orbits the Earth, that takes about 29 days, which is a little shorter than our month. So in about a month, you'll be able to see all of these phases. Okay, everyone, so we just walked through the full rotation of the moon phases. Again, I wanna remind you that I was moving our Earth perspective but in the real phases of the moon in our real solar system, it is actually the moon that orbits the Earth. There's just not enough hands to record the video in that manner. So I moved us around from the Earth perspective so that we could see all the phases of the moon. But I hope you guys get a chance, head outside, look out your window, make sure that you check out how different the moon looks every single night. If you look really closely, you will see the phase of the moon change just a little bit every night. And as that adds up night after night after night, you will see the moon go from a tiny little crescent all the way to a full moon, back to a crescent, and then disappear for a night. I hope you enjoy and come back for another awesome STEM activity.
See you later.